Namaste and good afternoon. Warm greetings from all of us at Apollo Hospitals. This is Dr. Srinidhi Chidambaram here. Welcome to our Facebook Live session. Many a time it is the lack of awareness or knowledge about our body and health that lands us up in health complications, which is why we at Apollo Hospitals have taken this very proactive step in giving you the best of factual information from our experts who are the top specialists in their respective fields. One of the commonest issues that people face in winter is the dry skin and the associated skin issues Winter weather can take a heavy toll on our skin. We are constantly also alternating between uh, warm heated rooms indoors and the cold dry air outside. And maybe we also wrap up a little more, which means that the clothes might be irritating our skin. The impact will be worse if you already have problems with your skin and winter weather can trigger flare ups. So you need to know all about it. Chapped lips and cracked heels are also common. And there are many other conditions also which are associated uh, in the skin with the winter. So today we are going to discuss this topic in detail and I am delighted to welcome our specialist for today's session, Dr. Gautam Dete, who is uh, one of the senior most consultant dermatologists from the Apollo Hospitals, Navi Mumbai. He's going to tell us all about winter skin and how to manage winter skin woes. Dr. Gautam Dete is a well-known dermatologist working with the Apollo Hospitals Navi Mumbai with an experience of over 17 years as a dermatologist. He completed his MBBS from the University of Mumbai and then the DVD from University of Mumbai again and then a DNB in dermatology, venereology and lep leprosy from the National Board, New Delhi in 2005. He has had more than a decade-long experience providing many treatments such as laser hair removal, photodynamic therapy, and hair loss treatments. He's also a published author with his research featuring in the British Journal of Dermatology and is also a life member of prestigious organizations such as the Indian Association of Dermatology, Venereology and Leprology, and International Union Against Sexually Transmitted Infections, and also a member of the Maharashtra Medical Council of the Medical Council of India. Welcome, Dr. Gautam Dete, and I'm delighted that you're here with us, and I'm sure our viewers are waiting to hear all about how they can keep their skin glowing and without any complications and diseases during the winters that are there in some parts of our country. Yeah, okay. Yeah, thank you, madam, for that brief uh, introduction of mine. And good afternoon all those are attending these sessions. So like uh, Madam has already said that this is a session which is we are uh, focusing on skin care in winter. So uh, all of you know that skin is one of the largest organ of the human body. So skin care is utmost important like we take care of internal organs of human body. So skin care is also important. And in winter months, like India is a unique country where we have seen that extreme temperature in the north, we never face similar uh, temperature in the winter months in the south or compared to the west or compared to the east. So there are different, uh, uh, the geographical distribution which lead to a, uh, different changes in the, according to the temperature uh, in, the, in the Indian uh, community. So we uh, so i think madam we can go with the questions answers so that most yeah. of them will cover so basically brief, yeah. huh? sure sure doctor so the first thing is basically like you know how does winter affect our skin yeah so coming to the winter months normally in india we normally say four months we consider october november december january as a, the winter months uh, compared to the western countries uh, the only summer and winter are the two seasons they consider uh, but where in india we consider in tropical countries like there are three seasons we see now in winters because of cold weather and because of low humidity it uh, this changes they actually draw some moisture from the skin so 
it leads to a dry skin also people like having the more like uh, having a uh, indoor heat uh, inside the rooms which lead to more aggravation of all this condition which gradually uh, increased inflammations which lead to irritation will lead to cracks skin crack lips and further on so mainly is because of the cold winds harsh harsh winds or low humidity which has a mainly caused you which causing the changes in the skin in the winter um so what are the common skin problems that happen in the winter so the commonest which we see there like dry skin which is also called as xerosis where the the skin the the skin is like bare it is little disturbed so skin could not hold the water in the skin so because of that there is a continuous transepidermal water loss which happens in the environment so that is a one thing which happens there are some other skin like i said the crack leaves which is we see in the winter months uh, the dry skin uh, then we see there are some skin diseases which get aggravated in the month winter months we see regularly such patients regularly in winter months they come regularly particular this uh, particular months they come regularly so there are such conditions like there is atopic eczema which commonly we see in the children and the parents keep on every year they come particular in this two months like whenever the the winter the temperatures goes down very much and the eczema gets aggravated there are another condition is which which is most of people may be knowing that psoriasis so psoriasis conditions is again which is aggravated by a low temperature which or which is aggravated uh, we see more patients of psoriasis they are coming again in the winter months so these are the common conditions which we see uh, in during winter months other than the dry skin which is most of the people get suffered and uh, there are like ichthyosis it is little more dermatological where those patient also get uh, having a dry skin from the birth and the the conditions gets aggravated in the winter months uh so what are the basic things that we can do to protect our skin uh first we'll talk about what are the home uh, remedies or what are the natural methods because when you come to skin care like you know there is lot of uh, you know like traditional practices also so what are the things that which people can do or what they should not do really uh, when it comes to natural remedies okay so coming to natural remedies we have very good options as a indians because everybody in indian homes use. there is oil which is there we use regularly that's a advantages for indians on this earth uh, the uh, advantages of oil which acts as a really a good very good moisturizer now in that oil there are like different types of oil but coconut oil is a very good one people can use uh, there are different oils like jojoba oil which is a very good moisturizer then there is avocado oil which is i don't know whether it is available freely in india uh, or people are accessible to this oil so uh, plus there is grape seed oil so all these oil preparations are really you can say that these are the home which is available home remedies the people can try and then medicated moisturizers uh, this then there is uh, honey honey is also a very good uh, as as a moisturizer it is really available at home then there is turmeric also having a moisturizer property and the most important everybody like people having the plants at home also the aloe vera so aloe vera is one of the excellent moisturizer people can uh, people can utilize and which is available very freely available people is having the plants at their yes. homes also so this is uh, something little summary of uh, the home remedies people can try and which is really readily available at their homes uh, uh but apart from the natural remedies what would you recommend for uh, somebody who doesn't have any other skin diseases uh, what are the medicated moisturizers or what kind of moisturizers should they use okay so coming to medicated moisturizer that is again then when, when we prescribe we see that whether the patient is having oily skin or a dry skin or a mild moderate or severe dry skin of the usually oily skin we try to give a moisturizer which is not very oily and which is 
really non comedogenic so that is what we prefer in the oily skin so i am not giving the brand names because uh, i am just telling the this and in case of dry skin we commonly see a very thick which is occlusive so something like you can say petrolatum uh, in a severe dry skin the, which is very really available uh, the the very old brand everybody knows and it is available like a vaseline so it just a petroleum jelly it works excellent it contain a white soap paraffin and liquid paraffin so it actually acts as a very good moisture occlusive uh, moisturizer it really prevent a water loss from your skin to the environment and that's a that's a that's a way it acts so this is uh, this is a commonly we divide when you prescribe a moisturizer from the oily and dry skin and we accordingly gives such a moisturizer so as you yourself said people have different types of skin oily dry as well as combination skins so is uh, are things like oils and occlusive moisturizers okay for oily skin or uh, they need to follow some other regimen you know is like uh, oily if there is oily a lot of oily skin the problem is that when we say that to apply oil we normally have that concept of like to apply or like uh, we say that very thick layer or say that chip chip a type yeah. so which is not a which is not we considered uh, oil when you are applying it should be apply very thin layer let it be it will work it should not like you have to apply taking a very 10 ml and you are applying the whole people like the way you apply on the scalp which is very wrong because it's like one or two ml is for the whole scalp is more than enough uh, uh, oil is uh, sufficient to doing this work or sufficient to give a moisturizer to the whole scalp not to apply like one teaspoon and 10 ml and 50 ml so that is that is a uh, wrong so i'll suggest that uh, oil is a very good you but you apply very little amount even if you are oily skin you can apply that is not a problem because as oil you even have some anti inflammatory properties also additionally like coconut oil if you say avocado oil or jojoba oil they have anti inflammatory though they reduce the irritation also so but the quantity should be very less it should not be very higher quantity you should apply and the, your second question i uh, no i was just uh, asking about the oily skin but also in connection with that to people with a lot of acne in uh, this in what can they also apply these thick moisturizers in oil yeah. so or in case of oil in case of uh, people who is already like young children we say acne in normally in a young children boys and girls in that case oil may not be a preferable to apply on the face so there are some moisturizers which is they are specifically they are made for such oily skin which are non comedogenic as i say so they are the best moisturizer there are there are many brands which are available in the market and uh, they they are like they are they doesn't cause acne aggravation or they doesn't cause to form a more acne already exist in acne so such moisturizer we give so like giving a treatment a lot of treatment where we give retinoids in the acne problem so they lead to more dryness and in winter months when we give such retinoids it's all lead to more aggravation of this all these conditions so in that case such moisturizer which are non comedogenic not very oily not form a very thick layer we use very commonly on the face um you were talking about retinoids so now there is a whole uh, everybody is also going for some kind of a cosmetic uh, treatment for you know wrinkles and for anti aging and a lot of these things include uh, medicines like you know retin mainly retinoil and other kinds of preparations are there uh, are they advisable then to use in the winter will they dry up and irritate the skin even more or is it better to ask the doctor and go for a proper prescription so i'll i'll suggest i want to use again second part is always better don't try such things on your skin on your own better take a dermatologist advice when you are using such a topical retinoids for as you said for anti aging as anti aging creams or for the uh, for the wrinkles or rejuvenation so because uh, they are they cause a little more dryness the uh, the side effects of such retinoids cream they lead to more many times irritation so if you if already is a dry weather is there outside dry climate is there and your skin is already dry and if you are using such products 
um, without a prescription or heyway or you are keeping for a longer period, you can lead to uh, the complications related to topical retinoids. That is dermatitis or it can lead to redness. We are using, we are giving anti-aging cream in winter months also to, to apply, but it should be a very a milder form of retinoids, which we say, which we advise. But uh, also we normally say to apply a short duration. So like in a winter months, we say that you should apply half an hour, one hour, or maybe alternate day in the night. So that in between the in between days, we say drug holidays where the people, the skin will get time to recover, okay. come to the normal skin. So that's the way we do. But we use anti-aging cream in winter months also, but it should be a proper doctor's advice, under doctor advice. Simultaneously, additionally, we give, when we use retinoids, we ideally give a moisturizer in the morning or sunscreen, which is containing little moisturizers. Uh, whenever people apply such re topical retinoids in the night, because uh, the dryness, as you said, that, that's a problem which can happen in the winter months. And we additionally try to tackle with the moisturizer in the morning or in the afternoon. Also. Uh, there is a practice that some people before they go to bed, they put the lip balm and then they also use the uh, some kind of a moisturizer on their hands and feet. Uh, is this a good practice? Will this will this help in combating uh, the dryness and the pulling on the skin and the irritation? Yes. So uh, putting a lip balm, as you said, that is good. Ad we advise that during winter months on the lip. So it's a, it's a good because it's remained for a longer period overnight and uh, it will work. It makes us, us, the lips little soft and supple. Your problem is also try, it try to be, uh, try to cover with that, uh, uh, with the lip balm. Regarding the hands and gloves, uh, hands and feet. Yeah. So we normally advise to apply in winter months, the petroleum jerry, which commonly we even say to wear a gloves also. So like you can just put your hands and feet in lukewarm water, let it be get pad or dry, then wear, then apply the moisturizer and then can you wear a gloves. So that leads to very good, uh, good, very good effect. Uh, talking about uh, the home, uh, the home temperatures and even like, you know, in the winter months, everybody likes to take a hot shower. But then we have heard that, you know, taking also very hot showers is not good for the skin and neither is keeping the temperatures at home too hot. So what, what exactly should people do or should they, we've also heard about people using things like humidifiers yeah. and uh, all that. So what is your recommendation, doctor, for that? So because uh, the, the winter months, people have a habit of taking a like very hot or extreme temperatures. They're having a bath. Also, they remain in that uh, in the bathroom for a longer period. So, because they think that it leads to more uh, uh, or soothing for their skin or something, but that's a wrong conception. If you are if you are taking a hot uh, uh, bath uh, during winter months, it leads to more your aggravation of problem. So, ideally, we suggest you should have with a lukewarm water, not very hot water baths. It remain not more than five minutes. Okay, so uh, that is advisable regarding the indoor heat, which has led to more aggravation again. So uh, keeping a hot humidity, uh, this humidifier or humidifications of indoor the environment, it really works in case of winter months. And the other thing which uh, uh, which uh, after having a bath to application of moisturizer. If you apply moisturizer within 30, sec 30 seconds, is really excellent. Right. Um, the next thing which we should talk about is other conditions which can be, what is the complication? Like, you know, I mean, though they can be dry skin, uh, if that is not looked after properly, what are the diseases that it can result in? So there are like something like uh, a dry skin, which commonly lead to a scratching. What we where, what we see normally in the bed, and whenever there is like your barrier is like disturbed, uh, scratching the bacteria which is on the skin, they try to invade in the skin, and they try to form. They might give a secondary bacterial infections. They can lead to a cellulite something. So that's why it's better you keeping your skin barrier intact. Give 
using a proper moisturizer uh, is also very important so that in in such case uh, the moisturizer is very important so scratching then there is formation of virogens we see commonly secondary bacterial infections which can happen if you don't take care of your dry skin sure uh, finally i wanted to ask you about uh, people who already have conditions like for example rosacea or psoriasis or other kinds of dermatitis eczema uh, what is your advice to them should they proactively come and see the dermatologist uh, at the beginning of the season will you be adding some more medications or how do you control the flare ups okay so rosacea is a condition which is like uh, the most important the flare ups there are a lot of uh, the trigger factors which lead to a rosacea which become again a prominent on the face so one of them is a sunlight so many people uh, they think that in a winter months it's cloudy or something like that they don't use there is not a sunlight so they have that uh, the concept like uh, we should not use sunscreen but it is wrong even winter months you should use a sunscreen at least minimum of 15 to 30 spf uh, in this indian environment which is very important and uh, rosacea like as you say that uh, if it is aggravating because rosacea is going to aggravate there are a lot of trigger factors like coffee tea other than sunlight there are some drugs which also aggravate so better during uh, taking a care of this during winter months you better contact your dermatologist before starting or before trying something on your own on your skin for a rosacea problem better take a proper dermatologist opinion before uh, using any product on the face for the rosacea is there anything else that you would like to uh, advise our viewers about the winter skin care doctor uh as i say that the most important is like uh, the daily bus which we cover we should use a sunscreen like some uh, regularly in during the winter months also that is also very important and uh, i said that many people they apply very thick layer of moisturizers so i normally advise a thin layer which is they do their works don't waste unnecessary the ointments or creams you are applying because the the one which is above you are applying extra is a waste of your money so apply thin layers that works very well you should apply frequently many times people apply in winter months once in the morning and they feel that oh my skin will be remain whole day uh, soft and supple no you should apply a frequent intervals in the winter months when the when the very is a dry weather is there so multiple application is very important in the winter months coming to the cleansers you can use mild cleansers in uh, during winter months because skin is also uh, get little bit disturbed uh, during the uh, winter months you can have uh, moisturizing like there are moisturizing body wash during bath you can use that works very well and uh, coming to the fabrics so because even the synthetic fabrics they can be irritant to the skin to, uh, if your skin is already disturbed so better use loose or cotton clothes during winter months and you can wear then a jacket or something on the top of that the like woolen one on the top of that not directly on the skin so these are the things madam yes so thank you doctor for your wonderful views and uh, i'm sure that our viewers found this overall comprehensive uh, session on winter skin care to be useful uh, so please remember that it's not uncommon to face the dry and flaky skin and it can affect your whole body not just your face so please make sure that as per what our doctor has uh, advised make sure that your skin is moisturized often not just once a day use the right products use a small quantity and also don't uh, go for very hot showers and exfoliation and other skin care treatments without consulting the doctor and make sure that you stay well hydrated and then if you still find that your skin is neither improving and is actually developing further symptoms i think it is important that you should consult the dermatologist at the earliest so that the right treatment can be given for further query
please, you know very well that you can reach us either through our social media channels and also you could make appointments through our website and apps with our specialists at any time. We're always there for you. Uh, till we meet again, thank you. Stay safe and stay healthy and make sure that your skin is glowing. Thank you and namaste.